if you are watching this video then please watch it till the end this could save you from a potential scam that may wipe out your entire bank balance or your credit card please note that i am recording this video purely for your awareness and if you stay with me until the very end you will be equipped with crucial information that could help you stay safe from online frauds trust me it's worth your time so this is a story about a retired teacher mr rajin sharma so mr rajin sharma was a retired teacher a man of simple habits and modest means living alone in a quiet neighborhood on the outskirts of the city his days followed a familiar rhythm morning tea a walk in the park reading the newspaper and most importantly connecting with his children and grandchildren over the phone friends technology had been both a blessing and a challenge for him so while he loved being able to video chat with his family he often found the world of apps and online transactions overwhelming but he tried so one fine tuesday afternoon he sat in his favorite armchair scrolling through his phone and he received a notification a message from what appeared to be his bank the message seemed urgent claiming there was a security issue with his bank account and that he needed to act immediately to avoid a block on his card the number displayed on his phone looked official the language of the message was clear dear mr sharma due to a recent suspicious activity on your account your account is under review please call us immediately to verify your identity and avoid a temporary suspension of your services so his heart skipped a bit he had always been cautious about such things but this time the message seemed so real he had never been asked to act this quickly the fear of losing access of to his life savings was enough to override his hesitation and with trembling hands he dialed the number a woman with a calm voice picked up the phone she identified herself as priya from the bank's fraud department and assured him that everything would be taken care of swiftly she asked him to verify his details his full name his date of birth and his bank card details mr sharma this is a routine procedure she said we need to confirm your information to prevent further unauthorized transactions so in the midst of this call rajin's thoughts were hazy his mind raced he didn't want to be without his pension or have his account frozen and without much thought he provided the details she requested including his online banking pin the crime hidden in the plain sight little did rajin know he wasn't speaking to a bank representative priya was a scammer part of a well organized network of cyber criminals who preyed on the elderly and those who were less tech savvy so as soon as rajan handed over his banking credentials the scammer used the information to remotely access his bank account and within minutes his life savings which he had carefully accumulated over the years were transferred to an overseas account the scammer quickly disconnected the call leaving rajan in a state of disbelief it wasn't until he checked his phone again he realized his worst fear his bank balance was almost empty a cold sweat ran down his back rajan felt a sharp 
pang of betrayal not just by the criminal but by the technology that was supposed to keep him safe so the fallout the days that followed were a blur of panic and confusion rajan tried to contact his bank but he was told that the transaction was irreversible the money had been transferred to an account abroad and there was little they could do he was devastated his pension his sole source of income had been drained he had no way to pay for his medical bills his utility bills or the small luxuries that kept him going his children who lived in another city were shocked when they found out they rushed over to be with him but there was nothing they could do either rajan felt ashamed he couldn't believe how easily he had been dubbed the scam left a deep scar on rajan's psyche the trust he had placed in technology was shattered he became anxious every time he saw a notification pop up on his phone it took a week for him to regain his composure and even longer to rebuild his financial security but more than the money it was the loss of his confidence that hurt the most rajan's story is far from unique in fact the scam he fell victim to phishing is one of the most common types of cyber crime targeting elderly individuals often referred to as social engineering attacks so these attacks prey on human trust and a lack of familiarity with digital threats so how can people stay secure number 1 be skeptical of unsolicited messages whether it's an email sms or a phone call always be cautious when receiving unsolicited communications especially if it asks for sensitive information like bank details friends real banks will never ask for personal information over the text or phone look for red flags phishing scams often create a sense of urgency like saving your account is at risk immediate action is required legitimate institutions won't pressure you like this use official channels if you receive a suspicious message do not click on any links or call or call the numbers provided instead contact your bank or service provider directly through their official website or customer support number two factor authentication 2fa enable two factor authentication on your online accounts even if a scammer messages to get your password they would still need a second form of verification to access your account next is educate yourself and your loved ones friends stay informed about the latest scams and share that information with those around you often the elderly or those less familiar with technology are targeted because they are unaware of the risks next is monitor your accounts regularly keep a close eye on your bank and credit card statements for any unauthorized transactions so catching fraud early can help limit the damage next is seeking help immediately if you suspect you have been scammed report it immediately to your bank and local authorities the sooner you act the higher the chances of recovery the ripple effect the emotional toll of rajan's experience was far reaching the shame embarrassment and the frustration weighed heavily on him he often found himself doubting his ability to adapt to the digital world his children although supportive also struggled with guilt for not having done more to teach him how to stay secure online 
in the months those followed rajan became an advocate for digital security sharing his experience with anyone who would listen he knew that his loss was not just financial but it's also a reminder of the vulnerability many older adults face in today's hyper connected world but rajan found solace in his lessons learned he slowly began to rebuild not just his savings but his trust in technology he worked with his children to install additional security features on his phone signed up for fraud alerts and even started taking online classes to better understand the digital world though the sting of the scam never fully disappeared it sparked a greater awareness in rajan one that he now passed on to others in sharing his story he hoped to prevent someone else from experiencing the same heartache so the conclusion a lesson for all of us rajan's story is a stark reminder that technology while incredibly empowering can also be a mind field especially for those who aren't well versed in its dangers scammers are becoming increasingly sophisticated and the emotional and financial toll of failing victim to such crimes is devastating but it also teaches us the importance of awareness and education so by taking simple steps to protect ourselves and our loved ones we can help prevent the invisible theft that often feels more personal than any robbery so rajan's trust was broken but in sharing his story he found a new purpose helping others stay one step ahead of the thieves who lurk in the digital shadows so for such stories i would request you to stay tuned to my channel if you like this story please like share and subscribe please do share this story with your friends so that all of them can stay safe so with this i am dhananjay naldurgukar stay safe and stay secure thank you